Hello guys and welcome to Gran Turismo 7 and today we are on actually this is the idea I do who so far well I did it for, this idea I want to do it for a long time ago three fastest car in Top Gear history not the modern but today's Top Gear the old Top Gear which is the Richard Jeremy Clarkson Richard Hammond and James May era not the, not today's the Top Gear the, the older is the are legend three legend trios was of the Clarkson Hammond and Mira, yeah, it was. So three fastest car in 2005, which is the, on the top tier test track actually. So uh, if you don't know, I want to do the legacy of uh, that test track I want to do because I watch it Top Gears up <laughs> how man Top Gear UK is one of the best one, the older one, and actually. So people thinking, why are you on the Ferrari section? Yeah, what? Hey, what are the three fastest one? Is the he Ferrari Enzo, Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren, and the Porsche Carrera GT, three of the, the most greatest supercar of all time back in the day. Yeah, back in the day, the three of the actually the best uh, best cars. The V10 and with manual gearbox, V8 sup supercharged V8 600 horsepower with automatic transmission, with uh, which is five speed gearbox, and for and the Ferrari Enzo with the with the technology of the Formula One and also the greatest sounds of the supercar of all time so not I, I know people gotta take it if you gotta put a Ferrari 458 Italia yeah <laughs> but I already review with the Nissan GTR if you want want to watch that you can watch it later so I know people can think is it La Ferrari mm, nope it's not La Ferrari actually this one here this is the Ferrari Enzo this is the, the car which is limited super, limited edition supercar uh, back in the 2002, what are the greatest one, and also the 60th anniversary of the Ferrari that time as well. If you remember, heard of the what are these as well? And one about this car is the amazing design. This is designed by Okuyama Ken, and yeah, Okuyama Ken who designed the Honda NSX and also Ferrari California as well. Six, six, twelve Scali. I think he was also design one of these things and one which this uh, the best looking supercar of all time yeah uh, my opinion this is one of the one of the best looking supercar I know people gotta take it is it LaFerrari the best looking supercar as well yeah it, it was back in the 20s I think it was very stunning looking car but I prefer her La, uh, the Enzo who as well yeah the Enzo who looks good for me even the no, it's 21 years old. Yes, it was 21 years old now. This and this supercar, uh, this Enzo actually, it's a cost half over almost half a million pounds. I believe when it comes, when it comes in in the 2002, over 350 to 400, over 400 thousand pounds. And one thing is the engine, six liter V12, normally aspirated. And the best sounding engine of all time is this one as well, including 599 GTB Fiorano and 599 GTO, who developed 650 horsepower at 657 newton meters of torque, weighs about 1,255 kilograms, and mostly the body, the body made from carbon fiber. And one, which the back back then carbon fiber it was, was a thing. Yeah, it was a, a bit, one of the greatest material of all time. And this Enzo, mm, mwah, it's a masterpiece. One of the greatest of all time. You can buy. Hi, if you have the invitation, yeah. Uh, if you have an invite, you have a in, an invite that allow you to purchase this car. If you remember the one, my previous video of uh, Pagani Huayra, you may you notice know is as well. Oh yeah, you. Know. It also came with eight colors on it: Rosso Corsa, Mo Rosso Mugello, Robino Mi Mi Mitchell Izzardo, Nero Nero Daytona, uh, Rosso Scuderia, Giallo Badena, and also Bianco Evers. You know what? Because I'm a fan of, I also love Ferrari because I, I liked him most. So I gotta put a Rosso Corsa. It's two and a half million, and not gonna lie, it's the price of Carrera GT. Oh, look at that! How beauty is that? Even though this car is aged 21 years old, this car grew. It, uh, it time goes fly. That time flies so fast. That time was what four years old. This this car when it came out. 
So we are on the Porsche section, which is people know already. People, they, hey, are you are you a big fan of Porsche as well? <laughs> yes. Well, that it does actually. I we I quite love Porsche. But I'm quite Porsche fan him somehow because you know what would I mean. So the one thing in supercar you can and buy now is the 918 Spider, which is and no invitation. But you can. You can buy via the invitation to this one as well. Z this is the Porsche Carrera GT, the one of the best looking, the best sounding, the most expensive, and the fastest road going Porsche ever made. Back in the early 2000s. Yeah, it was. The Carrera GT is one of the coolest supercar of all time. Yeah, it was the coolest supercar of all time. I'm Dr. Moore. Doug DeMuro also who owned one of these things as well. Yeah, you may watch his video. Oh, you want it? You can cry. Hi, now, if you want to see that. And this particular one is the coolest. Uh, well, I say coolest. That's the best, best looking Porsche of all, all time. It's 5.7 liter V10, 603 horsepower, 590 Nm of torque. And one thing about this car is the fact. Fascinating in supercar. Wait, I said fascinating the car again. Oh yeah, I, if I if you don't know, this car weighs only 13, 1380 kilos. This particular car not is made from carbon fiber. As well, the best and also best material. Yeah, carbon fiber, the uh, best looking as well. Best looking, yeah, nice. Carbon ceramic heat braids, carbon silicon carbon. Uh, I I silicon carbon for the clutch, I believe. And also, they all have carbon fibers. So the color of, you no, know, has GT silver. This is one an iconic color as well. Steel gray metallic, basalt black, black, and fey yellow and got red. Okay, yeah, I don't want to say that. That one, but, but it got red. Even though this got red Porsche Carrera GT is what the coolest color. If you remember the. Uh, that tr that thing, I, I don't want <laughs> So if you, you know, this uh, this color, he, he loved his car. It cost 2.3 million, well, 200 grand, uh, 200 grand less than the Enzo, uh, as well. Well, don't, if, don't even uh, comment hey, what hap oh, if what happened with the Red Carrera Jeep he back then. Yeah, but you cannot, you can't buy uh, this car. Without invitation, but you can. You need a requirement to purchase this car via invitation. Yeah, but because I'm, I finished the game and got this career GT. If you remember my live stream about last year, I got this car, hard, and I was happy to have one of these things, as well. So the Mercedes is a his third one. While well, the career GT is second fastest in in 2005 Top Gear. Oh, you may notice that. And this is the one of the third car I really like it the most, the Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren. And you may notice it. Hey, I I always say McLaren, Mercedes McLaren SLR of all time, <laughs> many times as well with <laughs> out of recording. But this one here is the one of the legendary supercar of all time, and as well, it was actually. We look at the side, and you may notice the side exhaust as well. The engine is 5.4 liter supercharged V8, 5 speed automatic gearbox, and also 616 horsepower and 780 Nm of torque. 1768 kilos of weight. You may notice this car uh, against the, the SL55 AMG. You may know oh, the, the SL55 AMG has the same engine and as the SLR McLaren. And this car here. This car, not built in German, uh, yeah, you may know oh, this car from Mercedes-Benz from German, but this one built in UK. Yeah, the McLaren factory. Hey, the McLaren, the McLaren factory. Yeah, the, you may notice the McLaren factory is the McLaren is it make is made the MP the current one is the 720 760s and 720 uh, 765LT. Hey, many more McLaren, cool McLaren. Oh, but this car have two colors. Crystal Galactic Black and, and Crystal Lauret Silver. Uh, you know, I kind of, you know, I always on the love it on the black Mercedes SLR. You may notice one thing. It's 2009. Wait, this car is 
How 2009? No, it's, this car came out in, in early 2000, 2004. This is a 19 inch v version, 19 inch wheels, and, and also they had carbon ceramic brakes. Oh, so this is a Grand Tour Super car as well. You may hey, no. it's 600 grand. Yeah, I gotta buy it. <laughs> but I love the, the SLR McLaren. Well, you may know that. And 600 grand for this McLaren. I mean the McLaren SLR. We're gonna do three tracks in one video where how three circuit in this game. And so we're gonna do it in first one is the Monza because, because you know, Ferrari in the home home track of the Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. Like I always do, you know. You know what I mean? Right? Yeah, yeah it was. So so you want to see that? Play the tape.
So people are gonna think, is it this car came from me, me on Ning at England? Yes, it wasn't. Uh, this car is uh, supplied by Mercedes, but in built it's built in Eng in Britain actually. Yeah, the, uh, back then McLa Mercedes Benz bought McLaren as well because for back then Formula One developed with the Mc with the Mercedes Benz McLaren. You you know that. At <laughs> but this particular SLR, it has a lot of good stuff. It had. Uh, look at that! It's ceramic brakes, carbon ceramic brakes. I think the, the back then was the, he the best stunt, best looking style as well. Yeah, best look. As well, the wing as, well, is the the aero brake, hit wings. Yeah, the aero brake wing. It's like it's like today's McLaren. It has an aero brake wing. Hey, you know the McLaren MP4 12C, right? The, and the uh, flap, a uh, flap, and also McLaren F1. But this one, three hundred fifty thousand pounds. Oh. Almost half a price, and then the old McLaren F1, I think. I, I think now McLaren F1 was what 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 to 15, 15 million pounds. Even though it has a big heavy engine, 5.4 liter supercharged V8, heavy manual, a heavy the automatic gearbox. I, I almost say a manual gearbox. Sorry about that. But it has a heavy gearbox, automatic gearbox. The side is. His side fender right there, the exhaust, and also the best, his stylish as well. Yeah, the McLaren SLR is one of the best style. 
as well. Kids back then love McLaren. Some of the kids love McLaren SLR. Yeah, I know people think it. I used to say McLaren SLR because it's a Mercedes. A Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren. Yes, I always say McLaren. McLaren Mercedes SLR. Everybody loves to say that. Well, the career next to the Carrera GT, one of the Carrera G best looking supercar, the best looking, the most exciting, the most expensive, and the fastest road going Porsche ever built back in the early 2000s. And one thing about this car, people loved it, and some of people love this car as well. It has a couple, a couple fiber, couple fiber leather interior as well, and the shift and gear, gear stick. As well, the shift gear knob is is wood. Yeah, they they attribute to the 917k race car, the, the Porsche old race car as well. Even it has a carbon ceramic rate as option. I think if I if you remember what my video, oh back in back in last year I reviewed this car. You got that? And you may he got it. Oh oh, don't understand. The car is this car also sounds like an F1 racer, even in a 5.7 liter V10. The best sounding engine of all time. Yeah, the V10, including Lexus LFA as well. Yes. And the last one is the Ferrari Enzo. The Ferrari Enzo is one of the coolest supercar of all time. And it came out in 2002. Well, 2002 feels like yesterday to me. But this car... It's driver focused. There's no electric windows. It has a winding manual window as well. The 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 final shift. There's a race mode. Just, and there's a bunch of clever stuff here. But this Enzo is full on on driver focused car. And also, oh yeah, carbon ceramic brakes. Back then, half a million pounds is a lot. Yeah, half a million pounds. In, uh, it's a uh, quite a lot of money to have. If you don't know why I say in, in using the mi um, pound sterling, because I watched Top Gear quite quite a lot back then. And this particular Enzo is most coolest Ferrari of all time, including the F430, the 599 GTO, and 599 GTB Fiorano. And one thing about this car, it ha uh, the Enzo also equipped with Bridgestone Potenza tires. Yeah, Ferrari back then was using Bridgestone Potenza on Formula One. Yeah, uh, yeah you you understand that? That that time most the Ferraris have Bridgestone on tires, including Enzo. Enzo also has a the Ferrari Enzo also have a Bridgestone tires when they came out. And you can get a, a Pirelli or a Michelin if I use this one. And this particular one is carbon fiber, a car fully carbon fiber as well. Yeah, I, I like the how it looks. I like the how the Okumu, Okuyama can and design one of this thing as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Gran Turismo 7 or any other video on this channel, be sure to smash a like, subscribe if you are new, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also Hoyo Lab, link in the description box below. See you guys soon. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.